shot a gun and opened fire on everybody. Robida could face three counts of attempted murder. Joining us now is Steve Urban, a reporter for the Standard Times of New Bedford. This story is making national news tonight out of your city, Steve. Thanks for being with us. Uh, nice to be here, Gene. On, on the circumstances, I'm afraid, uh, a little less nice. Now, tell me, where is this bar? Is this north of the interstate? That's how we sort of judge things. Uh, it is. We don't it, live in the city. It, it is in a working-class neighborhood about well, five or six blocks north of uh, Interstate 195 in, in, in the heart of the city. Now, it's, yeah. it keeps a pretty low profile. It does. It's a, it's it's the uh, only you know, one of very few businesses in its uh, vicinity. Most of it is residential. It's a very it's a neighborhood uh, bar. It's very low key. It's in a it's in the first floor of a, a, a triple decker with apartments above it. It so matches. It blends in very uh, neatly with the neighborhood. You were telling me even if you lived in that city for some time, you may not even know it's there. No, you wouldn't. Uh, I if you didn't go to that neighborhood, uh, you, you might not know. Uh, but I understand that the place was a is a uh, a very popular uh, social gathering place. Uh, where, where uh, gay, uh, gay men can, uh, can and often do bring their families and their friends. Now, there's an affidavit already that your reporters have taken a look at. Isn't that right? Uh, there was an aff affidavit filed for a search warrant for the suspect's uh, home. And we understand that a witness, a female witness in the bar, has identified the suspect. She said, oh, I recognize him from high school. That's what the affidavit said, that she recognized him as a fellow named Jake from New Bedford High School, uh, apparently no longer there, uh, evidently dropped out. But she did recognize him, and uh, on the basis of that positive ID, the police uh, visited the home at about 1 a.m. Now, did she also indicate to the police that she believed he wasn't gay? That is what she said, and that's why he drew some suspicion, because uh, it was not uh, uh, the kind of uh, establishment where, where, uh, where, where straight men usually, uh, usually go without their relatives and friends. All right, once again, that's the suspect we're looking for. Steve Urban from the Standard Times New Bedford. I'm going to pick up your paper tomorrow. You've got about eight reporters. Uh, uh, we we do. The whole crew's on it, and uh, the paper will have it all tomorrow. All right, Steve Urban, thanks for being with us.